Hi guys, my name is Doug. Welcome to My Messy Garage. In today's video, we will be continuing the installation of this new steering console on my Project Pontoon boat. The console I'm using is the large pontoon console from pontoonstuff.com. This is part two of the steering console upgrade. If you haven't already done so, you can check out part one here. Thanks for watching. Well, today we're making a little more progress on getting the uh, console put together. We've figured out exactly where we want it, took the two halves of it apart, and we've mounted the studs in the bottom of the top half. So the next step is to drill some holes through the bottom of the console and put some screws in. So one problem that I've come across with this is that the mounting instructions that they give you are for mounting couches, seats. They're not specifically instructions for mounting the, the console. Fortunately, it's fairly straightforward. Uh, basically, we need to drill some holes in the four corners and put the nice stainless screws down into the deck. And I'm thinking that we want to put these in a position where the uh, screws are relatively easy to get at. We've got our four screws. Seems to take a good bite. Looks pretty square to me. That definitely does not feel like it's coming out of there. So the next thing we need to do is we need to get access to the uh, hole in the floor for the wiring and for that I think what I'm going to do is get an approximately right sized hole saw and drill up from the bottom. The hole I believe is in this area here somewhere underneath the floor and rather than drilling 10 different holes trying to find it we'll just come up from the bottom. Man that is some tough plastic. The next step in getting our console up and running here is to mount the steering. Uh, as I mentioned a little earlier in the video, this is not quite the right piece. This is going to put our, our steering wheel is going to be mounted straight, coming straight out of the console due to the offset of this. I do have the right one on order that will put the steering wheel parallel to this surface, but unfortunately it's not here yet. But we want to do a water test on this boat, so we're going to set up with what we have. I'm going to start off, we're going to step drill a hole in the, uh, the face of the console, just big enough to take this shaft, and we'll mount this bracket from in behind. On the other console, the old one, this bracket came in from the outside, but I don't think that's necessary. I think mounting it from the back is uh, going to be more than adequate. We have a nice little Milwaukee drill with the step drill and hopefully that'll be about the right size. If not, I do have some bigger step drills. Yeah, I think we want it a little bit bigger than that. There we go, that should give us some good slack. Perfect. A little bit of room to move things around. Now the tricky part is going to be mounting the uh, this bracket. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, bolt this in and we're going to try it in a couple of different positions and see how it looks. Um, the advantage to this style of mount is you can mount it in several different ways and uh, we can play with it and figure out what fits best. This is uh, going to tilt the shaft upwards. It's going to be kind of like driving a bus. 
but it'll do for now. Um, we'll give that a try and see how it looks. And we can always flip it over the other direction and uh, try that if we decide we don't like it. That's the one angle, or that's the opposite. Unfortunately, with this mounting setup, those are basically the only two angles we have to choose from. So that's the one angle. I think that'll work for now. We've got the uh, the proper mounting bracket is coming, so I think this will work just fine for now. Okay, I think I'm going to grab a sharpie marker and just mark where we want those holes drilled. There's no way we're going to get the drill in around the steering head. That looks pretty good. So I'm going to go find some uh, more appropriate hardware. Because that's a little on the long side. So unfortunately I don't have any um, 5 16 nylock nuts, even in standard, never mind, um, never mind in stainless. But what I do happen to have is a whole bunch of AN hardware in my, uh, in my buckets of treasures for working on airplanes so we will temporarily use some aircraft hardware on the pontoon boat not ideal but it'll do for now Feels nice and solid anyways. Next thing on our install list is this handy dandy switch panel. I got this from Amazon. I, I forget what it was, about $45. Came all pre-wired. It's got USB ports for charging a phone or other device. It's got 12 volt and then it's got a voltmeter. It uh, has several switches and I removed one of the switches and installed a similar style horn button. I don't have a horn yet, but I have the button. So the idea that we have is we mount this over here, that convenient place for the captain to access. First step we need to do is decide how wide the hole needs to be. And the ruler's a little on the short side, but it works out just perfect at six inches. Or for those who prefer, yeah, we'll call it 153 millimeters. And the height, Now this is going to be a bit of a challenge because the nuts that hold in the uh, the charge ports are actually above the holes that we mount this. So we'll have to, uh, maybe we'll end up putting a rounded corner on there so that we have lots of meat. But basically the height we need is we'll call it four and a half inches for now and then we'll probably have to open these up a little bit either that or back the nuts off and figure something out actually you know what would work well is to leave the rectangular opening at the bottom here and we'll unscrew these and we will step drill holes large enough to take these three ports and that leaves us all sorts of meat in around above the uh, the top mounting holes I like that idea. First step to getting this attached here is I'm going to lay some masking tape across there so that my marks are on the masking tape rather than on this nice textured plastic. And uh, I'll bring you guys back when I get the tape put on. Okay. 
decided to tape the whole panel. Um, the main reason for that is that we're going to put the key switch and trim switch down below where we mount this. That looks reasonably centered on that panel side to side. Of course, I didn't put quite enough tape in there. Close enough. Taking these apart, you'll notice that the uh, the wires really, well that one came off fairly easy, but the wires really don't want to come off here. But I got my little awl on my knife and I just push in the right spot and they come right off. These spade terminals, hard to see in there, they have a little locking tab. And uh, if you don't get on the locking tab, they really don't want to come apart. There's our wiring for the uh, the three round ports. Isn't that a cute little voltmeter? So we need to come in from the edge, half an inch there, half an inch there, and up from the bottom, half an inch. Now we need to decide how high to come up from the bottom line to line up with the uh, top of the breakers. So about three and a half inches from the bottom surface of this should be just about perfect. quick little trial fit before we start cutting. That looks pretty good to me. One trick I use uh, whenever cutting an inside edge like this is to round the corners. Is it really critical on nice heavy plastic like this? Probably not, but um, definitely in aluminum, that kind of thing, you want to leave a rounded corner rather than a sharp edge. And since it's easy enough to do in this application, we may as well do it. Nice size drill. There we are. That's our four corners. To cut this, we're going to use a uh, angled die grinder and a cutoff wheel. And hopefully it should cut through this plastic pretty easily. That's some nice thick plastic. Now for the critical part. Mm, 
Okay, I don't want to go all the way through. Pretty much to that second last step, I think, will work. That's kind of what I was going for. This video is getting a little long and right now seems like a fairly decent place to end it for the time being. Check back soon to see more progress on Project Pontoon. Thanks for watching.